Good evening from Cardiff. Friday the 4th of December. It's been quite a week in work, so it can only mean one thing. Time for a beer. Um, I'm in the back of my van because um, the weather's due to be absolutely rancid later, so I'm not bothering with a fire. Um, and, you know, it's, it's good to do these little chats from different areas of my life, I suppose, particularly when you can't go very far. So let's see how we get on. Um, good pal of mine, Matthew Baldwin, kindly brought around some hogs back Advent Ale. Um, it's from Lidl's is where you get it. Sorry, Matt, I do know where you got it. <laughs> but, um, and that's not an insult because Lidl's is by far my favourite place to get beer these days. You will hear me harp on about it time and time again if you watch any of these. No danger. So the Hogsback is the brewery um, Advent Ale, 4.4%, a rich ruby festive cracker. Um, how much of a cracker, I wonder? Uh, a deep chestnut coloured ale, perfect for enjoying by the fire, on the crisp winter evenings or in the back of your van. Oh, perfect then, look at that. So, um, yep. Yeah. Nice 4.4%. I've got a nice bottle top like there. I'm only doing that because other beer reviews that I watch are insistent on showing the bottle top. Doesn't interest me a huge amount, although I am collecting them to um, join the um, rapidly expanding lockdown trend of making your own beer table covered in bottle tops and a um, resin. Uh, mate Tony's done it, and he's done it with a bar that he's done out in his um, in his workshop, and it looks nothing short of magnificent. In fairness, so I'm getting a whiff off that already. It smells like um, nutty. I'm normally a man for um, golden ales and IPAs and things like that, um, so. Tonight I thought, because I got a couple of um, darker beers knocking around, I thought I'd cane a couple, because it's bloody cold, and the amber ales are probably for a warmer evening or an evening when you've got a fire. Well, I haven't got one tonight, so let's see how that goes. It's um, yeah, pretty, pretty lifeless, to be honest, as far as being carbonated or anything like that goes, but I don't know if it's so long since I've drunk these beers, I don't know what they're supposed to be like. Cheers. Yeah, it's all right actually. It's um, as I mentioned, I drink um, golden ales normally, so this isn't my um, forte. Not normally my um, cup of tea or my bottle of beer, if you will. Um, I wouldn't have bought it unless unless Matthew got it for me. He did, so I owe him to say thank you, Matthew. It's a nice beer. It's about a 6 out of 10. It's, um, from my under what I understand, it's about £1.20 a bottle, something like that. Um, maybe you don't pay much more than £1.30 for stuff like this in Lidl's, if we're honest. Beer festival stuff can go up to kind of £1.60, £1.70 a can. But um, for the stuff they stock in like this, they buy in and it's 4.4%. Yeah, it's all right. It's, it is a wintry beer. I... I um, Expected it to be like um, flavours like cloves, um, like the stuff you you know the mould flavours that you tend to get. This isn't like that. I, I'm not I'm not sort of like tasting that. I'm tasting it. It's it's a nutty, fairly full, kind of like it's it's got a lovely aftertaste. In fairness, it, it actually tastes a hell of a lot nicer <laughs> around about a minute after you've had it. Then, and I mean that's not to say it tastes bad at the time. It's just kind of like it takes a while to develop. To show you the, the, the colour by there, it doesn't look far off the colour of a pint of Guinness to me. The only thing that's missing, the only difference really, is the head. Um, it is 
kind of like thick. Oh, it is carbonated. It is it is fizzing a bit. You won't see it on there. Um, yeah, I don't mind that at all. That's a that's a nice little drop there. Um, like and subscribe. You know the score. And um, thanks very much. See you in about an hour for the next one.